Hello friends, in today's video we've got one of the most consistent builds for soloing the 7 star terror rate event for Delphox in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and we're going to cover all of the details in today's video. So with the Delphox raid going live last night, we've had a few hours now to go over the raid and online it seems a pretty easy raid to complete with friends along with Berserkers and Heatran able to pick up a quick one hit KO. It does raise some other issues though if you're trying to solo this in game to farm those high cost items. And at the moment, it still feels like Serilege and Arm Rouge are pretty much your most consistent builds to go in with. And that's something that we have covered already on the channel. But I have been doing some further testing this morning and I do have a brand new build to share with you that's gonna make it a lot quicker to go into these raids and make farming these items that you get from the Del Fox event a lot easier easier. So you might have guessed it from the thumbnail but the build that we will be featuring in today's video is going to be for Arceus and I know it's not a Pokemon that everyone has access to but if you don't refer back to the original build guide that we did for soloing this yesterday with the Armor Rouge and Serilege and you'll have two really solid options for doing that but if you do have Arceus in your game then make these adjustments to the build and you'll have an easy time going up against the Delphox to farm for these high cost items. So we're going to have have the steel terror typing on it with the expert belt it has to be level 100 as well make sure that you have maximized all those ivs to 31 using bottle caps and the ev spread that we have on this arceus is 252 hp 252 special defense just to make sure that we are maximizing longevity as well as a modest nature with that remaining four evs in this special attack the move set that we're running is recover acid spray calm mind and steel beam and we have that multi-type ability but we don't really have too much option on this if you want to take a closer look at the build itself it will be down in the description below but the Arceus is going to be a very good option for you and I'll go into the raid now and I'll show you exactly what you need to do to set this up and get that one shot on the Delphox and make these super easy for you to start farming items in your game so when you're coming into the raid it is going to be that turn zero dazzling gleam coming out from the Del Fox, but you're gonna be able to take this pretty well with the EV investment that we've got, and it doesn't really affect the rest of our setup. So after that, we're just gonna solely concentrate on going for Calm Minds. So you can see the Dazzling Gleam come out from the Del Fox, and we take that pretty well. And the nice thing about Arceus as well is it has access to recover, so we have room for that on this move set. The nice thing is just to start going for those Calm Minds, and it's gonna reduce the damage every single turn that you go for, forward with in this battle so you can see we're going to need six of these this will max out our special attack and special defense by up to plus six on both of them so you can see a will o -Wisp coming out from the del fox but not to worry it isn't really going to affect our setup at all in this battle and uh, we just want to continue going for these calm mines until we have got like i say six of them and in the process here you're going to see around turn three to turn four the del fox will set its screen up but again it's not really going to affect anything going forward in this battle and it will rely mainly on those fire blasts coming out to do damage but you can get lucky with those as well as the will wisp as well because they do have lower accuracy than normal moves so uh, if you do get lucky and the rng is kind to you you will avoid them throughout and it makes the setup a lot easier so you're not relying so much on those recovers but you can see now we've got three calm mines up we're taking those fire blasts so so well the Will-O-Wisp burn chip is uh, definitely chipping down at us, so it's it's good to just keep an eye on your HP throughout this setup itself. So this is our fourth one. We only need two more after this, and then we'll be all ready to kind of terrestrialize and uh, get that one shot like I've mentioned before. So another Fire Blast, just keep an eye on your HP as you're going through. And hopefully you're going to get to the point as well when you're doing these six calm mines where it negates all of the stat drops on its side of the field. Sometimes it does that, so it means that you're not wasting any acid sprays as well when it comes to kind of setting yourself up but sometimes you're going to use an acid spray or two and then you are going to have to kind of use another three to get around those stat drops that you've seen already so another calm mind and this is our sixth and final one and that is us on plus six special attack and plus six special defense here and it does steal some of our terra orb damage but at this stage we probably want to get a recover off as well so it's a good idea just to make sure that you are 
pretty healthy when you are doing this setup throughout the raid. Just recover as and when needed. But uh, with the special defense boost that you've got now, you're going to be able to kind of tank things pretty well. We haven't seen it negate any stat drops. There we go. I just said it. So it is negating those. So now we can go for those acid sprays. We're going to be safe going for those to get it down to minus six special defense. Like I say, when you're doing all of this, I keep saying it, but just keep an eye on your HP because you don't want to waste any of those stat boosts that you've already had throughout the battle. Um, and you want to just keep yourself topped up with recover as and when you can. Uh, we just need another acid spray off after this one and then we are nearly ready to go. But it, stealing your terror orb power as well kind of delays you by an extra turn. So it does slow this down a little bit, but it's inevitable the Del Fox is going to have these things in its arsenal just to make you aware of when you're going into these raids. But Arceus, so good defensively it's overall base stats i mean it's a good pokemon it it's going to be able to kind of soak these moves up pretty easily from the del fox and you, the setup is pretty consistent with it as well so we aren't able to terrestrialize oh we are able to terrestrialize now so that's exactly what we want now before you terrestrialize you want to go for that all out cheer so you want to go for that all out cheer the turn before we terrestrialize the del fox is minus six special defense we're plus six special attack you can see the fire blast come out here. We take that pretty comfortably. And now we're in that position where we can terrestrialize and we can pick up the knockout onto this Delphox. It is going to go for a nasty plot, so it is going to be hitting a bit harder than its next turn, but it's not going to have the chance to do that. We'll just take a quick look at the stats. Plus six across the board there, minus six special defense. And now the time comes for us to terrestrialize and click in with that steel beam. The only issue is with this set, and it will happen occasionally, but more consistently you will hit. Steel beam can miss, and it will miss and you will still use lose 50% of your health and that puts you in a big hole. So uh, there is chances where this will happen and it is really frustrating. But for the most part, you will hit your steel beam and you can see here with that expert belt attached and all the investment that we've done so far, we are able to just easily remove the Del Fox. And I think by far, this is the quickest method to solo the Del Fox with in your games. You are going to faint inevitably yourself from the setup, of course, but that's fine because the Del Fox faints as well. And all you really care about at this point is taking down the Del Fox, right? And making it as quick as possible to just farm through these items for the rest of the game. And you can see the item drops there that we've got lots of XL and large candies, rare candies and other high cost items. And it is as easy as that with this Arcus build. And once you've done one terror raid, if you are aiming to farm these in your your game then all you need to do is come onto your map and all you need to do is hit your home menu then come down into system settings down into system down into date and time make sure your synchronized clock via the internet is off into date and time just toggle through with a hit the ok button into your home menu and then hit back into the game and you'll see all the dens will respawn and the seven star terror raid event will appear once again for you to find and then start the process all over again and start farming for those high cost items. So that is everything that we wanted to cover in today's video. I hope that you find this build useful. It is very consistent. It is probably the quickest solo build that you've got in these games at the minute. If you do end up using it, please leave a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. If you've got your own solo builds that you're having a lot of success with in the game for this Del Fox 7 Star Terrorid, let me know as well. I would love to hear what you've been using. If you have found it useful, do drop a like. Do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. And I will see you all in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.